So deer is coming and I set this camera up. It's not on our posted property, but it's just outside of and I wanted to see kind of what was coming through to go into our property and coming out. And I know Keenan was a little skeptical about it, but I'm getting great <laughs> pictures on it. I mean, we got a doe and two twins that came through and then we got like a spiker, like two spikers, you could call it a crotch. They're really tall and have different points coming off. And they, like they're button heads and doing a little fighting and just hanging out completely in front of the camera. So clearly good area to put a camera. Sorry, Keenan. So I'm gonna put a new chip in this. We got a week to go until main resident day on Saturday. I feel like every time I come check this camera, the like sun comes out and the clouds open up and it becomes 80 degrees and I'm wearing a sweatshirt with nothing under it and I just die. Just the sun's like, oh hi, let me beam on your back and make you sweat. I decided to put this camera out here because I found sheds down in here. I found a lot of moose sheds down in here. Last spring, Keenan and I were walking through and there was just like pounded deer trail. And I was like, huh, I should probably put a camera out here. So I did and that's what we got. So I did put in for the antlerless lottery. For those of you that don't know, in the state of Maine, previously, you could put in for an any deer permit. And if you got drawn, then you could shoot a buck or a doe. But now in Maine it's changed because nobody's killing does that you can, if you put in for your antlers deer permit or you could purchase a permit and you can shoot a doe and a buck. So you can get two deer this year. So I put in for the lottery and I got drawn for zone nine. We have gotten two to three larger does over there that I plan to hunt. So my first game plan is to target a doe, tagging out on doe, and then being able to go after a buck. But in the meantime, I gotta go set some traps. Whew. All right guys, good morning. It is opening day of rifle season here in Maine. I have a doe permit, so I'm going to attempt to tag out on a doe first. So we have the same big doe coming into two different food plots. She's hit this one I'm gonna sit at um, more in the morning than she's in that one in the evening. Keenan's gonna sit that food plot. And you know, there's not a lot going on. There's not a lot of buck activity camera-wise. The rut will start in a couple weeks, so we're just going to sit. And it's cold. So, I'm going to gear up. I can't say enough great things about this first light gear. Um, this is the sanctuary bibs and jacket and it's rated for like the coldest of colds so probably be a little too much once the sun comes up but I'm a cold person so I, uh, I'm blind, and I have this fear of touching my eyeball, so uh, I wear glasses, and I hate wearing glasses and hats, so I actually purchased a new orange hat um, from First Light, and it has like the warm um, like cap hat and just a little visor, so that came in, but at my parents' house, trusty 308. she loaded. Safety's on. Here we go.
Oh my. Okay, we're fogging up right now. Because it's so freaking cold. I guess I could say good first sit, even though I didn't see anything. But, you know, it really gets me out in the freaking cold. Which then helps me throughout the rest of the season. Planning on getting out of stand around 9.30 and then at like 8.50 I decided to get out of stand because I have a pullout up here so I know that I have one trap that I need to reset. So I'm finally out of work and Keenan and I just got done checking cameras on our north piece. We were trying to, you know, figure out what we were gonna do for today. And there wasn't anything super exciting over there. So I decided that I was gonna rush back over to our south piece and sit the evening for hopefully a doe. I'm at the point now where I really wanna get the doe out of the way, hoping that I can get the doe out of the way. Cause I would hate to like shoot an okay buck and then sit for doe and see a smasher of a buck. So I just want to try for doe a couple days here and then I can focus more on a buck. So I'm walking in. Touch it. Bleeding now. Trying to get into that bag as quick as I can. My whole fucking hand's bleeding. 